What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'll be showing you guys a quick walkthrough of the Dark Brotherhood assassination mission Bound Until Death. If you complete this quest and also do the special bonus objective, you will get the following rewards. Firstly, the unique bow, Finral's End. An enchanted elven bow that has a powerful effect that does 20 points of frost damage on hit. This is pretty useful because frost damage also slows your target and does damage to their stamina as well, meaning that you have longer to actually fire at them from range before they get to you. Secondly, you can get the Spectral Assassin Power, a unique power that can only be used once per day. But you can easily get around this by just waiting 24 hours in game after each use. Once you use it though, it will summon the spirit of Lucien Lechance, the former speaker of the Black Hand, who you would have met if you ever played Oblivion. This assassin will last indefinitely until he dies. And then like I said before, if he does die, just wait 24 hours and recast the spell again. He is effectively a permanent follower, and he'll always be the same level as you, and he'll level up with you every time you cast him. He's actually a really interesting character because he also provides commentary on all the Dark Brotherhood quests and even some of the locations around Skyrim, which is really interesting if you actually do use him throughout the entire game. And lastly, you'll get between 500 and 1500 gold depending on your level, as well as the unique wedding outfit, which I'll show you later. So as you work your way through the Dark Brotherhood questline, Astrid will eventually give you the Bound Until Death quest, which requires you to assassinate a bride at a wedding. In any event, when Vici dies, it's going to be complete pandemonium. Best have your escape route planned out in advance. So now we need to fast travel over to Solitude, here on the map. Now there are several ways that we can do this. So I'm going to show you the most Welcome effective the way, if you're an assassin, or, or even a warrior, and then I'll show you some yeah, funny ways as well, that we can actually perform this assassination. But firstly, when you do arrive, just head over to the temple. Once you reach the guards barracks, just take the staircase up on the left and then carry on along the left hand side of Solitude's fortress walls. Once you get to the end here, if you hop down, you can actually land on this balcony and upon this balcony you'll find the unique bow, Finril's End. And there are also some elven arrows and a potion of true shot, which will basically give you more bow damage. Now this is actually a pretty good place to assassinate the bride if you wish, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to show you the most effective way to kill her first. So you can, if you like, actually go and talk to the bride. What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness for me. And tell her that the Stormcloak say hello. Oh, well, you tell your Stormcloak friends hello right back at them. This is a day of healing. Legion, Stormcloaks, all are welcome. But she's in such a good mood, she doesn't really care. Please Instead now, if we just wait a few seconds, soon the bride and groom will leave their seats and head up to the balcony where she'll give her speech. And obviously we want to kill them on that balcony because that's how we're going to get the bonus objective reward from the Dark Brotherhood. So if we just wait for them to go through this door, we can actually follow them through after. So you'll come out behind in sneak mode and simply wait for her to start her speech and then kill her with a sneak attack. If you have the shrouded gloves, this should be very easy to do. As soon as she dies, fast travel to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. And then once the game's loaded, you'll then get the quest completed notification and you'll also get the quest bonus as well. So you can literally just go and hand in the quest to Astrid. So that's the most effective method to kill her. But another really easy one, if you don't have a very high sneak skill, is to instead go to the balcony above the couple, which is just here, and then wait for them to arrive on the balcony below you. 
So once again, just wait a few seconds and they'll eventually leave their seats and go up to the balcony. And as you can see guys, when I'm standing here, I have the option to push this gargoyle's head. Even though it says gargoyle, but it's definitely a stone dragon's head. So long as you're not seen pushing this giant piece of stone, you won't get a bounty from the guards. Though sometimes you still will, because it's just a bit buggy. Either way, crushing her with a metric ton of stone is just fucking hilarious. Yes. So please, into- Victoria, no! She literally just goes ka-splat and then she's just sprawled out on the floor there. So for option 3 guys, if you're a crazy wizard, you can just cast the fury spell on the poor Bri. This is stupidly funny, because all the townspeople will just start attacking her and slaughter her in cold blood. Absolute savages. And you will only get a 40 gold bounty, because you only attacked her, you didn't actually kill her. So instead of a thousand gold, you only have to pay 40. Or you can just run away, it's up to you. And lastly, we have the shout option. Once again, just follow her onto the balcony, but this time, use the unrelenting force shout to launch her off into the sky like she's been hit by a fucking truck. She'll literally be catapulted into the crowd and just instantly die. You know, as you do if you have a three meter fall headfirst into concrete. Anyway, just strip her naked and take her unique wedding gown, her band, and her sandals that are actually shoes. And don't forget that wedding wreath. Become that pretty pussycat you've always dreamed of. Your life is now complete. Become the bride that you were born to be. Anyway, whatever you do, if you do end up getting caught by the guards and having to escape quickly, I suggest just literally running through the city and then by the time you get to the main entrance gate of solitude you'll just be able to fast travel again. So head back to the Dark Brotherhood and turn in this quest to your good pal Astrid. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Yes, the blushing bride now serves Sithis in the void. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. She will give you the spectral assassin power and a lot of gold as a bonus. Also guys, if for some reason you've missed the wedding clothes or the unique bow of Finril's end, you can easily just come back and get them. Fast travel back to Solitude and you will find the unique bow of Finril's end where I showed you earlier in the video, still on that balcony. You can literally come back anytime after the quest and just pick it up. And then as for the wedding clothes, for whatever reason you need them, well just come through Solitude's main town over here and you will find the Hall of the Dead. You can access the catacombs here just through this graveyard. You'll have to wait a few in-game days after the assassination, but the bride's body should be moved down inside the catacombs within a coffin. So you can just come and loot her coffin and steal her wedding dress, band, circular and those really weird sandal things that are actually shoes. Not only have you assassinated this bride, but you've also robbed her grave. You absolute savage. If you guys want to watch the next Dark Brotherhood assassination quest walkthrough, make sure you check out the playlist down below in the description. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and then hit the little bell icon next to it. This will mean that you never miss any of my future daily Skyrim videos here on the channel. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to join in with some of the giveaways I do. But thanks very much for watching me, ESO, and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next daily Skyrim video. So have a fantastic day, and goodbye.